The Times of Israel reports that a rare Roman coin dated to the first Jewish-Roman war, known as the Great Revolt, has been discovered. Experts handling the discovery suggest that the coin was minted by priests assisting Jewish rebels and made using silver hoarded in the Holy Land's massive reserves 2,000 years ago. A 2,000-year-old silver shekel coin is thought to have been minted directly in the vicinity of the Temple Mount Plaza. And that's according to Dr. Robert Kuhl, who is the head of the coin department at the Israeli Antiquities Authority. And that makes this coin one of only 30 uncovered so far that was manufactured directly at the holy site. This coin is, apparently, one of the only items held today that originated at the Temple Mount itself. The discovery was made by an 11-year-old girl during a school sifting project through dirt removed from a previous archaeological dig at the City of David National Park. And after closer inspection by archaeologists, it was found to be engraved with the words second year, thought to mean that the rebels were now in the second year of war against the Romans. Known as the Great Revolt, it took place between the years 63 and 73, so this coin can be dated to the years 67 and 68. The First Jewish War was the result of a long series of clashes in which small groups of Jews offered sporadic resistance to the Romans, who in turn responded with severe countermeasures, and it was the first of three major rebellions by the Jews against the Roman Empire. The war was fought in Roman-controlled Judea, resulting in the destruction of Jewish towns, the displacement of its people, and the appropriation of land for Roman military use, as well as the destruction of the Jewish temple, which had stood for over 500 years prior to the uprising of its people. Dr. Robert Kuhl said about the discovery, he said, This is a rare find, since out of many thousands of coins discovered to date in archaeological examinations, only about 30 coins are made of silver from the period of the Great Revolt. The Israeli Antiquities Authority said in a statement that the coin would have been used for trade in Jerusalem during the Second Temple period. The street in which the coin was excavated connected the Shalom Pool in the south of the city of David to the Temple Mount in the north. And this was Jerusalem's main street during the Second Temple period where thousands of pilgrims marched on their way to the Temple. And there is no doubt that there would have been extensive trading at this location. Evidenced by the many weights and bronze coins that researchers over the years have discovered there. But to find a rebel coin made of pure silver is definitely very special and very exciting. The coin weighs approximately 14 grams, which is 0.4 ounces, and has an engraving of an image of a cup on one side, with the caption, Israeli Shekel, and Hebrew letters Shin and Bet, shorthand for second year, i.e. the second year of the Great Revolt against the Romans. The other side of the coin has an inscription that the Israeli Antiquities Authority said was an engraving of the headquarters of the priest, as well as the words, Holy Jerusalem, in ancient Hebrew script. The radical zealots overthrew the Jewish government established by the original leaders of the revolt and took control of the temple. After a long siege led by Titus, Jerusalem fell to the Romans on August 29th, the 9th of the month of Av on the Jewish calendar in the year 70.